Hey, what's going on guys? It's your girl, little Tinker Lori here and wow, oh my god, a video in like a long ass time. Like seriously, I have not uploaded anything on this channel for quite a while. Like the last WWE video that I did, I think that was with, with, with who, Jay and Amber. Um, they really don't even count because I think that's already been like what, a, a fucking year already? So... Uh, yeah. Hi. How have you all been? Please do not be mad that I fucking abandoned this ass channel. <laughs> but yeah, that's really what I wanted to talk about. Um, as you guys can see, <clears throat> excuse me, as you guys can see, there isn't WWE gameplay at all. Like, um, well, I just wanted to put on a game. Uh, believe it or not, I actually had the hardest fucking time trying to figure out what game I actually wanted to put over this because shit, girl, your girl forgot how to fucking record. Like, and then I didn't even know you could actually record on your fucking PS5. I know I'm a dumbass. Like, literally, all the editing, the voiceover, the commentary that y'all hear right now, I'm doing on the fucking PS5. Like, okay, bitch, ingenuity. Uh, make this shit easier for me because I do not. Eh, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, yes, hi. I know what you're thinking, Lord, bitch. It's been 80-something motherfucking years. Where the fuck you been, bitch? Okay, let me explain, y'all. A lot of shit has been happening. Like, my life has been, has gone from good to all right to fucking hell in a matter of just the few months or hell years that I really have not been active on my channel. I've been trying to get some shit done. I've been trying to really figure out what the fuck I want to do and all this, that, and the third. So let me start from the beginning. Recently, um, I quit my job. <laughs> if y'all don't know, I was actually working at a convenience store. And um, out of a plea of desperation, it was not the convenience store I should not have been fucking working at. It was the closest to my house, though. It was paying decently and uh it was okay it was good you know but the main problem with what where i was working motherfuckers love to steal i kid you not on my second day there i literally just saw someone come into the uh to the fucking door and like we had like a little display of like some little little baby bootleg ass speakers bitch like really nothing to over here fucking this shit and get your pants in a bunch about but literally a nigga came in like squatted like you can tell like he was like squatted that's what he's trying not to get um seen or whatever came in squatted down like took like eight speakers bitch just got an arm full of them bitches we actually made con eye contact i looked at him while he was doing it he looked at me while he was doing it and that nigga just left I did not try to stop him because what the fuck I look like over here trying to stop somebody from stealing it and stuff where I barely make minimum wage. Uh -huh. No, not me. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. We don't do that. This person here, she does not do that. Okay, period. Um, So when my manager came through, I was like, yo, do we? A nigga just ran out with some speakers. What do we do about that? He was like, shit, it is what it is. I was like, all right then. Like, um, but then after that, my manager, when I first got hired, he left. We had another manager. The store went to shit. Then we got another manager. She got the store in order, but she's also a fucking hard ass. And sooner or later, I couldn't fucking take her ass no more. Because y'all wanted, like, for real, for real, some dumb shit that she did. Like, the location that I um worked at, it was a high theft risk. Like, literally, I seen some crazy shit working at that fucking convenience store, bitch. Like, it ain't even fucking funny. Like, I had motherfuckers, like, literally, um what what was my no actually before i even say this we had our cigarette case get break broken into twice within two weeks of each other like not even fucking kidding one week it got broken into literally the next week that bitch got broken into again it's fucking insane and then what was my tipping point actually i had two tipping points one of them um, and yeah, I, I promise you, I promise you, I'm not making this shit up. 15 minutes after I had got off my shift, 
I found out when I came in the next day that the store got robbed. And I don't mean like, um, like someone came in, got a whole bunch of shit and ran out. No, they literally came behind the fucking counter and robbed the fucking register. Like pushed my manager into the cigarette case, damn near knocking him out and robbed the fucking register. And I was like, what? And this, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not kidding. And he was like, yes, Lord, this was dead ass after you left. And I was like, oh, hell no. And then what this, this, the, that, that was my first strike for me with this one. It wasn't three strikes. This, it was two strikes. I'm out. I'm, I'm gone. The second strike was when one dude, he, he know he wasn't supposed to be in the store. He slipped in. Got a whole fucking laundry bin full of shit. He was, he was like a teenager, so maybe at most 15, 16, 17 years old. Got a whole uh, laundry bin full of shit. Just full of shit and ran out the store. My store manager, my main store manager, caught him. And tell me why this bitch actually went out and started looking for him. Like, like. Literally trying to hunt his ass down. No child. Yeah, that probably said, yeah, that's that manager. No, that's not that fucking manager. Because literally the same store down the street from us, one of the managers had stopped this dude from stealing the fucking body slam because it was just like over a bag of fucking chips. And over here the dude body slammed him and the dude who was stealing got his fucking arm um, what his lip busted. He left the store, came back and shot that bitch up. That see now nah, when, when when I found out in that I found that shit out, then I'm over finding out my manager's over here going out looking for somebody over here because he stole some fucking tissue and some bleach and shit. Like, bitch, if you don't get the fuck on somewhere, you over here putting not only yourself in danger, the manager, the other dumbass manager who took you looking for that motherfucker in danger, your employees in danger, and the customers in the store in danger. Because what if you actually found that nigga and he actually, you did something to him because she was over here threatening to beat him up and shit. What if he actually would have came back and, and shot up this motherfucking stove? Like, that, 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 that's why when I be seeing videos and shit, the managers over here doing all kind of crazy shit to, to, to stop people from fucking stealing and shit. I don't, I don't, I, shit. I, I, I do not find fucking pride in that shit. That shit is insured. That shit is fucking insured. Don't over here be risking your life over be like, y'all ain't finna steal from my motherfucking stove. Like, bitch, still, I don't care if I'm a manager, bitch. You gonna steal from my motherfucking stove. Cause what the fuck I look like over here risking my life over over some fucking uh shit that's insured from a over a multi billion dollar company, bitch. Fuck out my face, like, bitch. You can suck my dick. Uh, anyway, but yeah, after all that shit happened, I quit that job, left immediately. My brother hooked me up with a good, a better job. Um, uh, working for my city, uh, for the city government and everything. I don't get paid shit. <laughs> Go ahead and get that out the way. I don't get paid shit. Um, but it's better than where I was. It's better than where I was. Um, I get more hours, even though I get the same pay rate. I, I get more hours, so it's a little bit more, you know. And so, um, after that, um, my mother moved out. I ended up living by myself for a, for a while. And then my sister moved in. That was the worst fucking... That was such a big trajectory in my life. Like... Because when I... If, if y'all follow me on Twitter... Um, and my handle... Um, my 10th plague one. Not my... Um, Akatsuki Tink one. My 10th plague is like my um, my personal... Uh, Personal-ish account. Like for my more unhinged aka horny ass thoughts because let me tell you something bitch uh, there is a lot of fictional characters that your girl would love to fuck and like you know I, I like to get that out my system on that account you know but anyway on that account if you guys know that if you guys follow me there um you guys notice that moving in with my sister has not been good for my mental health she is dirty she's a dirty ass bitch along with that motherfucking dog so yeah, all of that shit, it has not been good. Like, I really wish I could give y'all a mild example of how dirty that bitch was and how fucking inconsiderate her ass was, but I really can't give you a mild example. I'm going to try and give you an example. Um, This video is really just going to be, y'all, like an update. 
really about what's going on and why I haven't uploaded. Basically, the dog tore up some toilet paper that was supposed to be for us. I thought she threw them all away. Looked in a fucking cabinet. We still over here got the same fucking rose that the dog done uh, tore up. And I found out the one one of the ones that she tore up is actually on the roll and I've been using it. And so after that, I was like, fuck no, you dirty bitch. You want to use the shit that your dog fucked up? Put it in you to, to know. And the fact that she didn't even tell me was fucked up. Because I had bought a big ass fucking thing of toilet paper. And it was different. Like the pattern on the toilet paper was different than what, you know, was on the roll and what we had stored up. And plus they was loose. Any black, or well, if shit, I don't know about y'all black household, but in my black household, we keep our toilet paper and our paper towel in the motherfucking plastic till we get ready to use that motherfucker. Anyway, so yeah, I found that shit out. I found that she was a dirty ass bitch. You want you 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 want your dogs, bacteria, and shit all up in your pussy, bitch? You'll do that. Not me. Not me. Anyway, so yeah, after all of that shit, and after I really like got sick and tired of her bullshit. I decided it was time for me to go ahead and make the big leap. What is the big leap, bitch? I moved out. I moved out. I am currently in my own apartment. Um, I have been enjoying myself. I have really, oh, I have really, I know that side sounds so exhausting, but I have really and truly been enjoying myself, really practicing on myself and everything. And it's just been, it's been a trial, y'all. I am not going to lie. Like it has been a whole bunch of trial, error, tribulations all kinds of shit and yo i'm gonna be honest with y'all your girl has been stressed i have been extremely fucking stressed it it it, it like seriously i got so stressed to the point where it affected personal information here it affected my cycle y'all like one time i kept bleeding for almost five months straight that's how fucking that's how fucking stressed i was to the point where my body was all out of fucking whack. And this is why I was living with her. Like that, that that's how fucked up it was. Now, my girls that's over here listening to my channel, watch my channel and shit. Imagine being on your period for damn near five months straight. Five months straight, bitches. Exactly. When I tell you my iron got so fucking low. When I tell you that I damn near felt like I was finna pass the hell out. When I tell you I could barely stand, I could barely be in the shower for more than five minutes without feeling I was about to black the fuck out. I could, girl, like, no, like, I had, I was, I had some serious shit going on. But, yeah, that's basically been, like, the update of my life. Um, and it's just been crazy. It's been crazy. I haven't had the time to really... Um, game the way I'm sorry if y'all hear that little water running. That's my refrigerator. It has like an automatic um ice maker shit in it, and it be fuck. That thing be scared the hell out of me in the middle of the night. <laughs> Seriously, but anyway, um, I have not really had the time to really game the way I want to, to really create the way I want to, or anything. Not even right. If y'all y'all didn't know outside of. Uh, YouTube and everything I write I do I do a whole lot of creative writing I love to fucking write but um yeah so that's basically been what's been going on in my fucking life um so now you know y'all wonder well Lori um what about this channel what do you want to do with the channel um getting to that honestly y'all I don't know what the fuck I want to do with this channel like the the state of Little Tinker Lori, the channel name, this channel is just up and it's up in the air. Like I could continue on with WWE, uh, making calls and everything, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't enjoy it anymore. I don't like. I find it. I find making calls, coming up with attires and all that shit. I find it to be so exhausting, so tiring. I I I, I don't find enjoyment in it anymore. Um, it just, it hasn't been fun for me. It hasn't been fun for me in a long, long time. Like, I know I could probably collab with the few, um, people I actually talk to in call, but I feel like even then, like, I really still, after that, like, I'll just put the game up. And so, like, I don't, I don't want to spend my money on a game and I don't even do anything with it you know 
like I said, um, I did get the latest one. Not 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 this one that just released. What is it? 2K24 that just came out? Or 25? Whatever. But the one before that, I actually got it. I started making um Amber and Jay. But afterwards I just stopped. Like literally, I think only I think they only have like one attire each completed. And I was gonna do at least two, like their tag attire and their personal clothes you know their personal attires i oh excuse me i couldn't even finish it i couldn't even finish it because i was just like what the fuck am i doing what the fuck am i doing like i don't know i just felt so pressured for it to be good i felt so pressured for it to be original for it to actually look like something it's like i don't know wwe just stuck the um enjoyment out of me i didn't i i'm not enjoying wwe anymore like i know they've added a whole bunch of new stuff up in there i know the way they fight is all you know cool and everything but i'm not in any leagues i'm not in any clans if that's still a fucking thing i'm not in any shows or anything like that like i'm not in any sims tournaments whatever y'all be doing and to be quite honest like the car community it's still so fucking dramatic, so fucking petty, and all that shit. That really, even if I say to myself, I don't even want to be a part of that shit. I don't even want to be associated with that shit because that shit, y'all motherfuckers is just crazy. Like, literally, I was on my account the other day and I'm over here seeing motherfuckers over here complaining about the fucking shit, the fucking topic, all this motherfucking time about what uh people do with their cause about how diva cause especially look specifically about how diva cause look and i'm just like bro shut the fuck up how about really like, it's a real it's a wrestling game not no fashion show like bitch shut the fuck up damn why are you so concerned about what people do with their motherfucking money they spent their motherfucking money on this game they're gonna do whatever they fuck they want with it shut the fuck up you over complaining about nothing nothing you over complaining about these beautiful detailed ass cars while y'all car over here looking like something they'll go to walmart for bitch like shut the fuck up you look poor you look bootleg bitch shut the fuck up and let people have fun with what the fuck they want to do period but anyway back to the topic at hand i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do with a co with what a koski tank with little tinker lord with, with this channel i don't so i'm like saying what do y'all want to see what 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 do y'all want from this channel because honestly i'm not gonna i'm not gonna delete it i'm not gonna close it down because um who knows i might come back to it i might spring up another wwe video on on y'all maybe i really don't know um but as if i do come out with another wwe video i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm not gonna spend my money on the newest latest and grace unless it's actually worth my time like i'm not finna over here spend money on WWE, the, the latest one, I don't know what the fuck is it, 24? I'm just gonna say 24 because I really don't even know. I'm not gonna spend my money on 24 and it's almost identical to 23 when it just has just a few extra um, fucking entrances and shit. I'm not gonna spend my money on that. I'm, I'm not. It's not worth my time. I don't like call like that. I, I don't. It's a waste. It's, 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 it's a waste. And like, props to y'all for still sticking with this game like especially the old vets like the first first person in that come to my mind um when i think about a car og it's brown sugar candy 2007 that's my girl she has helped me and she has gave me so many fucking tips on how to create and everything she even gave me tips and pointers um when i was starting my story like way 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 back like in 2k13 2k13 bitch well wwe 13 and 2k14 i was starting my story pains of v like she was there in my corner hyping me up giving me pointers when i needed help on making a tire she was there for me when i need help uh trying to do a face section where to get a face section she was like girl bitch girl i got you period like what the fuck what you ever asking for so, girl if you don't get in my deal so i can so i can send you some good ass face sections like for real <laughs> she had my back like 24 7 i was forever forever ever always be indebted to her like that's my girl period like girl that's my that, that's the homie like a period <laughs> that's a period like 18 different times girl but yeah candy like props to her for actually sticking to this game um public genocide um is another vet that i think of 
Yeah, I'm sorry. If if I didn't mention y'all and y'all a bit, you know me. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't I, I, like like pfft. when I say I have not dealt with the car community, I have not dealt with WWE. I really haven't. I really like disassociated myself from that shit. I separated myself from that shit when I stopped getting the games. Like, don't get me wrong. I'll still support. I'll still um you know view a little car showing here and there. I'll do what I need to do because you know, your bitch likes to power on the room. I wonder. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, um this channel, I don't know what it, what what what's finna happen to it. I genuinely don't. Um I've even started my own art channel um called Akatsuki Tink. Um and I have also been neglecting that channel because again, like I've been getting busy like with this job with this new job it's been taking up a lot of my time I really haven't had time to really sit down and make a video the way I want to and it's just ugh. yeah but I do plan on getting back on that I actually plan on even opening up my own tarot shop soon charity tarot shop soon yes bitches your girl do tarot I actually have my first customer it was candy <laughs> But yeah, Candy, like I said, Candy, my girl, like, I did a, I did a, um, I did a tarot reading for her. She loved it. So, yo, I mean, if y'all want, if y'all want y'all own tarot reading, hit me up. My handle is 10th underscore plague on Twitter, you know, hit my DMs, bitch. If you want to know your future, let a, let a bitch know. I got you, period. But yeah, that's actually still in the works because I want to officially get it up. I'm going to put it up on Etsy or whatever. I, like, I got a whole bunch of shit planned that I want to do. And I, I need to know if this channel is going to be a part of those plans. And if so, what direction do I go? Because with this channel, I was thinking about making it like a multi-game kind of channel. But since it's so WWE um, populated, since it's so WWE creation heavy, I don't think that I'll get the reach that I want to because this channel is almost at 700 subscribers like I genuinely believe that if I would have kept it up I probably would have hit 1k by now maybe possibly I don't fucking know but yeah I mean it's just been it's just been up in the air I've been hella busy I've been hella stressed I've been stressed bitch I've been stressed huh Woo! Like for real, and it's hot as hell in this apartment right now. I know I can, I can easily turn on my air conditioner, but I don't want it to come through on the mic. So, <laughs> yes. So, like, basically to wrap, go ahead and wrap everything up because this footage is only like thirty something minutes long. And so, yeah. What do y'all want to see from this channel? What do y'all want me to do for this channel? Um, I'm not gonna bring my art over to the channel because I want it to be a separate audience. I want it to be completely different so um yeah but if y'all hey if y'all want to check out my art channel right now it's only two videos up on there but they're really good videos um i know because i made them <laughs> but yeah if y'all want to check out my um my art channel it's a kati tink xo i'll probably if i remember to do it <laughs> have it linked um in the description box so y'all can check it out you know give that some love too and everything um but yeah, that's basically what's been going on, what's been happening with my life, what's been going on. It's just been a lot, you guys. And unfortunately, I've been neglecting this channel. And WWE car creation is the last thing on my mind. Like I said, if y'all really do want to see more cars, I might not um, be posting other cars other than probably amber and jay because like i said already making a tire just for those two it's exhausting it's tiresome and with me trying to create a whole roster and without you know i'm i'm, I'm not the best well-rounded when it comes to making face textures or body textures i don't know how to do that shit. i am still learning how to make a tires um on the art program that I use, I'm still I'm, I'm I'm learning how to make how to do that shit, you know. And so if I like if I want to do that, it's gonna be it's gonna be something, you know. So if y'all and like and it, 
like I said, I'm not gonna be spending my money on the latest and greatest and most up to date WWE game. Like if it ain't if if there isn't like a big drastic change in it, I'm not finna get it. Y'all gonna get like eighty something videos just from uh WWE two K twenty three or whatever, okay? Um but yeah. Like what do y'all wanna see? What do y'all want to do? What 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 do y'all want from this channel? Because like I said, I don't I'm I'm not gonna close it down. I'm not gonna delete it because this channel's at six hundred subscribers. I don't I don't want you know all that shit to just go go to waste. You know? So it's like what do I do? What do y'all wanna see? You know, like because ain't no point in me keeping it, you know, keep keep uploading videos and you know, I ain't got the energy, I ain't got the, the oomph for it, you feel me? So yeah, like what y'all wanna see? What y'all wanna do? If y'all wanna do WWE, if y'all wanna see something else, if y'all want me to just um up do upload fucking videos of me talking or some shit, or like do like a fucking I don't know, fucking vlog or some shit or whatever the fuck people don't want. <laughs> like, girl, shit. <laughs> it's just, like I said, y'all, it's just been a lot. A lot has been going on. A lot has been going down. And I'm slowly but surely recovering. Um, If y'all do want to see more WWE videos, I'm going to try my best to get some out. Um, But I know July and August, I will be getting overtime at work. So I am still might not be that active. Like, I'm... Look, I'm going to be drenched. I'm going to be drowning. Drowning, bitch. But anyway, y'all. I, I know I know. I started out to cl uh, close out this motherfucking video like eight times already. Basically, more of the story is. If y'all want to see something, let me know what it is. Um, Because it's up, this channel is up in the air. I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, So, yeah. It was nice talking to y'all. It was nice. Uh, I would say hearing from y'all. But I mean I can't hear y'all. But it, it was nice doing this update. Because I feel like. I hope some of y'all was like. Where the fuck has Lori been? Where the fuck has this bitch been? Where is she? Did she die? No. I'm, I'm not dead y'all. I'm just unmotivated. <laughs> but yeah y'all. It was nice talking to y'all. It was nice doing this update. Don't worry. I did not die. I am all right. Lord, keep it that way. <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Like I said, leave y'all suggestions, which I want to see in the comments below. And I will try my best to make that shit come true if I got the time for it. So yeah, I love y'all. Be good. Be blessed. And uh, vote. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Y'all be y'all y'all stay safe and be awesome. I love y'all. See y'all next time.